LabTube explores the continued efforts of talented researchers who develop Korea's cutting-edge technologies as well as their daily lives. Protein carries out various kinds of functions in living things. And vibrant researchers on protein engineering have been promoted to develop useful substances for mankind. On this week's LabTube, we explore a domestic research team which has performed various research and development activities that make use of protein. We introduce the Functional Protein Engineering Lab from the School of Material Science and Engineering at Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology, which is led by Professor Hwang Yin Chan. The research team is focused on artificially transforming the structures of protein and improving their functions.단백질은 Let's take a deeper look into the therapeutic protein that have been developed by the research team. 아, 여기 보시는 것이 단백질로 이루어진 통풍 치료제입니다. 단백질은 수많은 종류들이 존재하는데요. 저희 연구실에서는 대장균을 이용해서 통풍이나 당뇨 치료제 등을 생산할 수 있고 이를 생산하기 위해서 대장균이 자라는 온도, 영양분, 그리고 단백질 생산을 유도하는 화학 시약의 농도 등을 최적화해서 when drugs are injected into the body, they break down rapidly, so patients have to get injections repeatedly until the diseases are completely cured. The research team has developed an anti-goat agent which has a longer half-life than the current medicines. The the researchers have developed the anti-goat agent by combining albumin, which has a long half-life in the body, as well as urate oxidase. In order to prevent the decrease of absorption of the oxidase, albumin is combined on a specific position of the therapeutic protein. Based on the AI algorithm, the protein structure can be predicted and it enables a fusion of albumin at a certain position. 치료용 단백질의 약효 지속성을 향상시키기 위해서는 단백질이 수백 가지 아미노산 위치 중 어떤 위치에 알부민을 결합해야 할지 선정하는 과정이 필요합니다. 그래서 저희는 AI와 알고리즘으로 단백질 구조의 안정성을 계산하여 단백질이 어느 위치에 알부민을 결합할지 선정할 수 있습니다. The therapeutic protein that is developed based on the albumin fusion is harmless to the human body as albumin is an ingredient that is rich in human blood. Unlike current drugs that have a short half-life in the body, the sustainable power of the drug can be increased by several times. This is our first product of albumin. 저희가 개발한 통풍 치료제는 기존 통풍 치료제보다 약물 지속력을 7배 향상시킬 수 있었는데요. 그 이유는 통풍 치료제를 약물 지속력이 긴 것으로 알려진 알부민과 결합을 하여 통풍 치료제가 알부민의 약물 지속력을 활용할 수 있도록 디자인했기 때문입니다. The current drugs have about 1 hour of half life in body. However, the therapeutic protein of the research team has about 8 hours of half life. 
we had a test to check the characteristics of the therapeutic protein, including its vitality and mass. What will be the result? I'm going to test the test. The test of 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 the what is more, the research team has boosted researches to develop a bisorbent for rare earth element recovery. It was difficult to only recover rare earth elements from industrial waste, as it also contains non-rare earth elements, including magnesium and copper. The research team has tackled the problem by making use of protein, which can strongly bind rare earth elements. 기존의 기술에 대비해서 저희 기술의 경우에는 히토르를 선택적으로 회수할 수 있다는 것이 가장 큰 특징이라고 할 수가 있고요. 그뿐만 아니라 기존에 있는 히토르를 80% 이상 회수할 수 있는 높은 회수율도 큰 특징이라고 할 수가 있습니다. The research team is planning to expand the production and application of the absorbent so that it can be introduced to a wide range of industrial sites. Also, it has continuously promoted researches on protein in order to apply the material to diversified drugs. Our goal is to produce the material from the production of the material from the production of the material from the production 저희가 노력할 예정이고 단백질 치료제 개발로는 다양한 항암제나 당뇨 치료제 등에 적용을 해서 실제로 유용한 치료제를 만들어 볼 계획입니다. The Functional Protein Engineering Lab of Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology has built a better future by developing protein engineering technologies for various industrial fields including the medical sector. And we look forward to the future achievements of the research team.